Hello, this tutorial will show you how to make a guessing game program in Scratch. To begin with, we're going to go to events, as always, and have the when flag is clicked. We're going to be needing two variables for this. So under data, click on make a variable. The first variable would be called guess for the user's guess. The second variable will be called random num for the random number that will be generated by Sprite or by Scratch rather. So what you're going to do is initialize our variables. That is give a variable, give each of the variables a value at the beginning of your program. We'll go to set and we want our guess to be set equal to zero to reset it. And then we're going to set our random number equal to something. Under operators, go to pick random one random 1 to 10 and that's what we're going to leave it as we're going to ask the user to guess a number between 1 and 10 so therefore we need to have scratch give us a random number between 1 and 10. So what you're going to do is under sensing ask the user for a random number. Guess a number between 1 and 10. We are telling them that we want them to guess a number between 1 and 10 because we want to be specific and clear in our instructions. We'll drag the answer block ready to put in. So what we'll do is we'll set random num or the guess rather guess variable equal to the user answer. Now you can go ahead and check if the user guesses the correct number. Under control, we need to do an if, then, else. Under operators, you will go ahead and check if the, or get the equals operator so that we can check if the user guess is equal to the answer. So take the guess and check if it's equal to the random number generated. And if it is, under looks, we will say, you guessed it. Otherwise, we want to be able to tell a user if their guess is too big or too small if they didn't get the right answer. So we need another if then else and put it inside of here under the else portion. And we're going to say if the guess, oops, the operator, so we need to check if it's bigger. So we're going to say if the guess is bigger than the random number generated, we should tell the user that it was too big. Too big, try again. And I'll show you how to make it so it can, the user will have the opportunity to try again in a second. Otherwise, if the number is not equal to the random number and if their guess is too big, then we know that their guess is too small. So we will say, too small, try again. So this will work, however, we want the user to actually get a chance to guess again if their answer is incorrect. So we're going to loop it and we're going to repeat it until the guess is equal to the random number. So under operators, grab the equal operator and put the guess and random number in there. So we're going to repeat this section of code until the guess is equal to the random number, so it will stop after that. Let's try running it. Guess a number between 1 and 10. You can see you would actually remove this and you can just uncheck this box right here if you don't want the random number shown, but just for testing purposes and debugging purposes, I'm going to leave it there for a bit. So I'm going to guess a number that's too small good, it says too small, and it gives us an opportunity to enter in a different number. So now I'm going to type in 10, which is too big. So now let's check if it actually says you guessed it, and it does. So once I finally guessed the right answer, it said you guessed it, and it stopped looping because my guess was equal to the random number, and we're done our program.